Dear students, I am Dr. S. Deepa, working as Assistant Professor, SFO College, Savahasi. In this video, we are going to discuss about media of advertising. Already, we have discussed about the press advertising, radio advertising and TV advertising. In this video, we are going to cover cinema or film advertising. Let us see what is the meaning of cinema or film advertising. It is the audio-visual medium of communication. Films of the products are prepared and screened at uh, cinema theatres and other entertainment places. It is a main supporting medium to national advertisers. It is also give benefits to the local retailers. There are three kinds of cinema or film advertising. They are straight advertising films, documentary films and sponsored advertising films. Let us see what is meant by straight advertising films. It concentrates on only one product of the particular company. For example, Hindustan Lever, Tata and the like. Normally, this kind of films can cover the duration of 3 to 5 minutes. Next one is documentary films. It is mainly used for publicity aspects. It is mostly used in educative in character. The next one is sponsored advertising films. It is a combination of advertisement and entertainment. For example, usage of cartoon films for advertising the products. The next one, let us see the advantages of cinema advertising. It is less expensive than that of the TV and other press media advertisements. The next one is media support. This advertisement enjoys the support of movie because the ad film is mostly screened at theatres. It can be noted to hear that cinema advertisements should provide entertaining value. The next one is local selectivity. It does offer local selectivity that is the local languages and lifestyles can be used in, th in this type of advertisements. The next one is special aspects. The film advertisements enjoys a special aspects such as large screens. There is also the combination of voice, vision, music and motions. The next one is flexibility. It offers a good deal of flexibility because the advertisements can be screened at any time during the shows. The advertisers can also able to uh, cancel the screening at any time by informing the theatre owner. The next one is suitability. It is mostly suitable for the retailers and service providers in a particular locality around the theatre. It is able to cover the national and regional advertisers like television and press. The next media of advertising is outdoor advertising. It is the oldest form of advertising. It is otherwise known as mural advertising or wall advertising. It consists of display of advertisement out of doors, which may be in the form of posters, signs, billboards, sky ratings and so on. There are some essentials of outdoor advertising. They are brief copy. The copy of the advertisement should be brief. It must contain brand name, headline, catchy slogans, etc. And it must also contain the address of the retailer. The next one is dominating illustration. The major part of the billboard or a poster must be occupied by the illustration. The illustrations may catch us on the imagination of the people. The next one is color composition. There should be a proper color composition. The colors should be used must match with the product and taste of the local audience. The next one is size. The poster or billboard must be of appropriate size. The sizes depends on the location of the site and also budget of the advertiser. The larger the size, the more create the more impact on the people. Then the next one is typography. The advertisement must free from mistakes. The next one is product. The product should be prominently displayed in the advertisement itself. It should clearly mention the 
brand name. The next one is location. The outdoor advertisement should be placed in such a place that get maximum viewership from the passerby. The next one is proper background. The advertisement must have a proper background. The color should colors in the background should be simple and light. Again, the lighting arrangements can be made if necessary. Then the next one is proper check. The advertiser should check whether there are any mistakes in spellings or grammatical error while painting on the boards or signs. Uh, the mistakes can create a poor impression of the advertiser. The next one is poor maintenance. The outdoor advertising needs to be maintained regularly because there may be a damage due to dust, sunlight, rains or winds. The advertiser should see whether the ads are properly maintained. Otherwise, it may be create a bad impression of the advertiser. Now, let us see the types of outdoor advertising. First one is poster or billboard advertising. A poster is a large placard or sign which is displayed in a public place to announce the public about something. The advertising message is printed on the sheets and they are that are placed on the cardboard supported by a wooden or other structure. The posters can be conveniently displayed on the wall or at the top of the building or at the railway platform and the like. The advertising message must be brief and a proper combination of colors to be added to attract the consumer. The next type of outdoor advertising is painted signs. The advertisers can also use the painted commercial messages on walls or flyovers to convey the message of the products and services. The message is directly printed on the wall surface. This is less expensive and more durable. The next type is electrical signs. They are animated signs. That is, such outdoor advertisement is impressive during the evening hours and night hours. The cost of making and maintaining such neon signboards is very high. It, is, can, it can be used by the retailer in front of their stores. And the main advantage is to get the good lighting impact on the minds of the audience. The next one is Sandwich Man. This is done by displaying the posters at the front and the back side of the man. And the man is moves or walks around the marketplace with such poster to draw the attention of the public towards the advertisement messages. The next one is sky advertising. This is also known as the uh, aerial advertising. So this advertising is appears on the open space at the good height is known as sky advertising. There are two commonly used sky advertisements. That is first one is sky banners. The sky banners are tied to a low flying plane. This is mostly done during the international games. The products advertised is displayed on the plane. The next one is hot air balloon. The balloons filled with hot air are let loose in the sky. The name of the product appears prominently on the balloon. The next type is trade shows and fairs. In trade shows and fairs, many producers display their goods for sales. At the same time, it should provide fun and entertainment to the visitors. It may be at local level or state level or national level or even international levels. There are some objectives in trade shows and fairs. They are, they can able to meet the potential consumers. They can able to explain the new product which are introduced in the market. Then they can able to develop the list of prospective buyers and they can able to build goodwill among the present customers and they can able to observe the effect of the comp effort of the competitors and they can able to demonstrate the heavy equipment and machinery to the people. The next type is transit advertising. This also refers to transport advertising. This advertising is mainly used uh, for the public uh, during their transport. There are three types of transit advertising. First one is car cards. 
this advertisements are normally placed inside the vehicle that is bus or train this is known as car cards such advertising messages are exposed to the passengers inside the train or buses the next one is outside display the outside display is done on the exterior of the vehicle such as outside the buses or trains such display exposes the advertising messages to the general public the next one is stations display this is uh, normally this advertisements is placed on the airline terminals railway stations bus stations and the like so normally uh, it is this this advertisements is displayed on the posters moving signs then showcases then uh, clocks likewise the next type of advertising is point of purchase advertising this includes any signs displayed placed in on and around the retail stores that is the advertising at the point of purchase it includes the dealers displays dealers aids point of sales materials store painting banners electric signs etc it acts as a supporting medium to remind the shopper to buy the product as soon as they enter into the stores the next one is window displays it is an important device used by the storekeeper to induce the passer by to enter into the stores it acts as a point of purchase advertising the windows advertising is extremely important to attract the attention of the consumers through display uh, the passer by can come to know about the various types of products that are available in the stores there are some types of windows displays first one is soles display so in this case the only one product is displayed prominently the next one is semi soles display in this case there are two or more items are displayed in prominently then related display here there are some related products are displayed for example in uh, grocery shops shampoo toilet soap solutions are displayed all together then the next type of outdoor advertising is specialty advertising it is a very commonly used advertising technique in which the useful company informations are printed on the items which are normally in use day to day so for example uh, names logos and slogans of the particular um, company must be placed in the items like key chains calendars pens watches caps uh, then mouse pads clocks notepads t-shirts and the like here the best thing is about using the some simple articles of daily use to carry the advertising message is that these products are stay with the targeted audience and remind them about the company every time they look at or use it